Okay, so we've got our app working on our server, a Django app, it's running. Um, we've got all the scripts in the world to automate the deployment, the server setup, database backups, pretty cool. Um, there's one last problem we have with our app, and that is it has a really ugly name, 64.25, whatever your IP address is, um, which kind of sucks. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a cool domain name like MichaelWebsite.xyz or .com or .net, whatever top-level domain you desire. Um, wouldn't it be cool if we could give that website a cool name? And so what we want is a domain name that people can type in, like Michael Website, that will then direct users to our web server, which is addressed using this IP address. So the first thing we need to do in order to set this up is to actually buy a domain name. So domain names are um, administered by, um, I guess, the DNS system, and each domain name has what we call a top-level domain. So if we go to, for example, google.com, there is some organization Oh, fuck. There's some organization that owns com, dot com, and they are the ones who uh, give other people permission to use subdomains of com. So Google is a subdomain of com. Google.com has the top level domain dot com and the subdomain of Google.com, and then they've directed you to the subdomain of that, which is www.google.com. So you've got to go to these com people and buy Google off them, which Google does all the time, I guess. Now, us uh, sort of regular people in the street who just want to buy a domain name from somewhere, we do it through these uh, sort of resellers, these domain registrars, such as Namecheap. Namecheap uh, is just some sort of website that is a domain registrar that sells domains, uh, and you can go to them and give them money and get yourself a website. So I'm interested in Michael website because I think it's a cool name. And let's search for that. And they'll try to sell you some crap for fuck like $30 as if that's a good extension. Um, or dot cool. Cool. Um, IO is like retardedly expensive because it's uh, trendy. If you want something that's super cheap, use dot XYZ. XYZ is an extension that's used for, um, I believe it's just like personal websites. Um, so if you want something cheap, XYZ's a good bet. .com isn't usually too bad if it's available. Um, it might cost you 10 bucks a month. But if you want to go super dirt cheap, let's do that. So I'm going to add that to my cart. And I will, in fact, pay $2 for this website. That is how committed I am to this tutorial. So let's roll with that. Uh, yeah, one year's fine, uh, and they, like, will always try to sell you just random shit. So who is Guard? Uh, I don't know what that is. Privacy protection or whatever. That's nice. Premium DNS. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Do not buy anything else from these people than the absolute basics um, ever. In any of this stuff you can get for better, for cheaper from someone else. So let's confirm our order without selecting any of this shit. So I guess they want to know if I want to automatically renew my website. Um, if you want, up to you. Um, I don't want to renew anything because this is a one-off sort of burner website. So I will... Oh, what the fuck? I want to ticket. Oh, there you go. It's gone. So I don't want to renew anything because... This is a sort of just example website I'm buying for a year for $1.85 Australian, which is half the price of a cup of coffee, just to show you how to do it. Um, but I don't want it in the future. If you do, you might want to select these options of automatically renew all your stuff. Okay. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone from the Namecheap Okay, so I finished my checkout, and now I've gone back to the Namesheet website by just clicking on that. And I want to look at my dashboard. 
I want to manage my domain. And I gotta say, this website's fucking awful, but um, I really thought that Crazy Domains was the worst in the world, but this one is impenetrable. There's so much crap on here. Um, but you wanna go to Advanced DNS. And down here, Personal DNS Server. This is where we will pick this video up when we get onto the Cloudflare section. So um, that's it for buying a domain from Namecheap. Um, honestly, after doing this, I don't know if they're actually that good. You might find it easier to use some of the servers. I've heard GoDaddy can be kind of predatory. Um, I don't know if there is a good one out there. They're all kind of garbage, but uh, this is how you do it with Namecheap. And we'll pick up the next video on how to set up your DNS.